Uh, hey, in this tutorial I will show you how to use uh, text layer and uh, how you can add edge blur to your final scene. So again in uh, scene 30 final, if you have the FX controls layer selected, you can see all the controls in effect controls panel and there is a text control with a checkbox. If the checkbox is uh, on, then the text layer is uh, shown. If it's off, no text is shown. So to adjust the text, to add your own text, uh, you can uh, go directly from this comp, double click on text 30. And here you can see there are two text layers made. Uh, so by double clicking uh, on the text layer you can type in your own text. The same goes for the second layer. And as uh, there are no expressions in this text composition, you can uh, do whatever you like to these text layers. You can change the font, uh, you can change the uh, you can change the size or uh, tracking, color, make it bold or bigger, whatever. And um, if you want to animate your text, then this is the place where to do it. So uh, if we select these two layers and press U to reveal keyframes, we can see that uh, I have animated this lower text layer and uh, just take the cursor to the end of the composition, it just uh, pans a bit, moves to right, so you can make the changes to the animation here. Maybe you want to animate the opacity to reveal the text or whatever. And uh, also you can see there is a white uh, square layer behind the text. This is a guide layer, so it won't uh, show in the render. But uh, basically this layer is to mark the area where your text should fit in. Um, because uh, there are 3D cameras used in the final scene, we'll talk about late, uh, later about this, uh, then uh, if you keep your text inside this white uh, white layer, then uh, with these camera animations uh, in the presets, uh, the text is always uh, in the frame in your final composition. You can basically go outside this, but then you have to check in your final scene. I will show you. So if we put this text here, to the left, over the... So now it's uh, shown, but... Uh, for example, we use... we go to the end of the composition. So it's partly uh, behind the edge. So therefore, keep your text inside this, or then check the placement. And also you can add edge blur to your final scene. And uh, this is done again with the controls. There is a blur amount uh, control here. And um, as uh, camera lens blur takes a lot of... Uh, uh, RAM to render, then uh, by default uh, this layer is off, so if you want to add blur, you have to click on its eye icon. Then you can adjust the blur amount from here. You can make it really subtle. Or then if you want to make your scene look really dreamy, you can put a higher number there. And uh, the layer that decides uh, where the blur is added is a blur map. It's separate for every scene. It's the last layer of the composition. So looking at it, double click on the blur map and it opens up. You can see there is a, a gradient ramp, a radial uh, black and white layer here. And you can adjust by uh, changing, changing the position of the uh, ramp uh, start and end point. So if you want it to be you know, less shown in the edges, just take your white point uh, lower or you can change the black point to the left you know like this you can check how it looks uh, then in the final comp and we changed it to be uh, more of the uh, at the edges